So if you need to convert from moles to grams or grams per mole, it's actually not too bad. So we're going to look at how to do that. By the end of the video, you should be pretty good at this. Let's focus on moles to grams in this video. Whenever you go from moles to grams, you're going to multiply by the molar mass. I know it sounds silly, but it really helps you remember this mnemonic here. Moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. So we get, say, 3.23 moles of water. We find the molar mass of water. To do that, we just go to the periodic table. It's H2O, two hydrogens plus one oxygen. So we add up the average atomic masses. That's where the molar mass 18.02 came from. And the units are grams per mole. That way we know we've got moles on top and the bottom, they cancel out. We've got grams. We know we've got the right answer because it's in grams here. Let's try one. So here we have 1.24 moles of NO2. We want grams. Remember, moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. So I've given you the molar mass here for NO2. It's We have one nitrogen and two oxygen. So we multiply the oxygen by two, add 14.01. That's where this came from. And remember the units. Give it a try. Convert the moles to grams here. So we have 1.24 moles of NO2. And this is often the abbreviation used for moles. And to get from moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass here. So when we multiply, we have moles on the top and the bottom. They cancel out. We're going to be left with grams. So we've done this right because we're looking for grams. Do the math. 1.24 times 46.01 grams. You get 57.2 grams of NO2. All right, one more. So pause. Convert 2.3 moles of CO2 to grams. So we have 2.34 moles of CO2. The molar mass, it's carbon dioxide, one carbon, two oxygens. So we add this plus two times this. We get our molar mass. So we're multiplying by the molar mass. And when we multiply, moles on top and the bottom, they cancel out. We're left with 103.0, the unit grams. And since we only have three significant figures here, 103 might be a better answer. We'll go with this for now. That's it. This is Dr. B converting moles from grams. Remember that mnemonic, moles to grams, multiply by the molar mass, and make sure your units cancel out. Thanks for watching.